Hello everyone, I'm Day Weather, meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this June 1st, 2024. Well, here we are with the new month. What will it bring? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Before we do though, we need to let you know that this is brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors and WSR Insurance Services Incorporated. Well, what do we have on tap? Well, June is gonna be warmer in the Western United States, as we'll show you in a minute. May was below average temperature wise for a lot of the West compared to the 30 year average. But we're gonna find that June, especially the first 10 days of the month will certainly be warmer. While cooler weather will spread into the central and Eastern United States, the middle part of the country, which has been the wettest, will continue to be the wettest. There will be some precipitation in the West, even the Pacific Northwest, and some of the dry areas of the central and southern Rockies and central southern high plains, but it will be a bit more spotty. And it does look as though indeed a summer weather pattern is setting up for good. As we take a look at where the rain has fallen over the last week, you can see that Montana, North Dakota done very well with more heavy precipitation than the Midwest. The Corn Belt, the Southern Plains areas has continued to be wet, while the rainfall has been more spotty in the West and continued dry in New Mexico, the Four Corners area, Arizona here. We'd like to see some moisture start to return, and I think we will late next week and after the 10th of June. Also, an area that's been not getting a lot of precipitation has been here. Hopefully we'll see that change in the next week or two. When you look at the precipitation anomalies over the last seven days, you can see we have islands of green where precipitation has been good, but the brown areas, especially along the front range of Wyoming and Colorado and New Mexico, has been drier. The Pacific Northwest back into portions of Northern California and Nevada has been drier as well. The drought monitor kind of shows that. We're seeing an expansion of the dryness right here in eastern and southeastern Wyoming. Continue to have very dry areas in central and southwest areas of Kansas and New Mexico and southwest Texas and Arizona. Very dry conditions persist. Hopefully there'll be some help on the way in the month of June in those areas. But a lot of the rest of the nation not really looking at any significant drought. This is where the temperatures have been over the last week. You can see the coolness in Canada and across the West. And this is what the month of May is gonna end up looking like. Where you see white temperatures average for the month, the yellow, the orange, the red colors, where temperatures have been above average, but you can see a lot of Canada, a lot of the Northwest United States, blue or white. But as we take a look at what's coming, we do see showers and thunderstorms may be getting a little bit more prevalent in some of the dry areas here, let's hope so. You can see that the Midwest and the Corn Belt continues to be very wet. Do notice that parts of Eastern Colorado, Western Kansas and the Panhandles and even Eastern New Mexico have got some better chances of needed rain. We're also seeing a little bit of moisture maybe come into Arizona with some showers and thunderstorms as moisture there starting to increase. Temperature wise, you can see the flip from that cooler pattern we've been in for the month of May to now a warmer one for the first seven days of June. So June will be off to a warmer start. Notice the coolness now spreads into the other side of the U.S. and central Canada as well. Have yourself a good week ahead. Our next update will be Saturday, June 8th.